Hey guys, I'm going to give you an update on the Crystal Red Shrimp Tank. It's a 7 gallon rimless tank. Um, I have three buried female in there. And there's only probably about a dozen shrimp in there all together. So that's real promising. In the same time, the last batch that was born in that tank are kind of in that uh, juvenile stage. Some are looking really, really good. And think that has to do with the ones that were adults have good traits and I've been pulling out all the lower quality ones that I don't want breeding so I'll show you a glimpse of the females that I got uh, I'll show you an update of the tank so one thing that is confusing me a little bit so on this crystal red shrimp tank everybody always says you know they like 200 TDS in that range or less so I've been remineralizing with salty shrimps and I used to do about 150 and then every two weeks I'd take a gallon out and replenish that. So the problem is, is I was having no babies and large amount of die off. So I cut way back on the water changes to once a month and the water going in I've been remineralizing kind of in the 120 to 100 and over time with evaporation and everything else I'm over 300 TDS most of the time now and the shrimp seem to be thriving so that makes me question whether my pin is accurate or cats attacking me or I just have shrimp that want to run a higher TDS um, so not really sure uh, they're, they're doing well now so that's what I'm gonna stick with and I'll probably stay into that remineralizing at 125 and I will probably stay at about my once a month water change take a gallon out and when I put the water back in I use a little dripper bucket but instead of doing the whole gallon at a time I do a half gallon and then I wait three days and then I put the other half gallon in. It seems to be working out a lot better on the shrimp. Okay. Zeros. Three eighty six. Zeros. Three eighty. Measuring in the hang on back as I always do. I really don't think it's going to matter a difference if you measure in the tank or not. 380. Just doing it up here so I don't get duckweed on my pill. On my pill. On my pin. 379. And. Crystal red shrimp tank. Alright, so here's the little 7 gallon. You see, we got quite a bit of water level down low, which I have been running it low on purpose because they've been getting in the hang on back. So if I run it about half inch to an inch lower, I haven't had that trouble. Although, you did see one try in last week if you do follow me. I also been using these filter pads. And it doesn't like because the light's really bright. So anyways, they're just canister filter filler pads and I've been shoving them on the intake of this little 10 gallon filler. And instead of having to pull out a sponge like once a week and clean it, this has been on here probably about a month. So, uh, i try not to blind you. So you can see the flow has dropped off to nothing. So I'm gonna pull the pad off, put a new one on, which makes me think I need to either a larger coarse sponge filter or go a different route but I hate having to clean the sponge every four days I just don't have time for that so these aren't too expensive and I may stay on this route so anyways you see all the duckweed that I got and I'm not a duckweed expert by any means I got one piece of water lettuce which is the huge water lettuce but brought it inside from last summer and I just keep a little piece going but you see how all the duckweed let me get up here 
see how all the duckweed is turned brown? And that is all the larger leaves. Now I don't know if the little duckweed turns into that big brown duckweed or if that's not duckweed at all, but you can see it up in the corner. You can see how it turns brown. Every time I would remove all the duckweed from the tank, I would save a few pieces of this larger duckweed. And I really do like it. So if anybody has any advice of what it is, or maybe it just likes this light, I'll have to look up the name of that one uh, that's floating down there. some more water lettuce, but there's... I can't get it. It's not doing too well. Can't get it on camera. There it is. It's just a big wad of... I'll, I'll look up what it was called and I'll put that in there. But I am just keeping it alive to put in the summer pond project. It really does not like aquariums. It gets beat up pretty hard. So anyways, you see all that I gotta remove. So here is the stem plant the LR sent me with my fire reds. I'm not 100% sure what it's called. Got to do a little more looking into that. Uh, these red guys back here, I'll throw up the name. I'm not even trying to spell it out or sound it out for you guys. Got a little chain sword. Little bronze crypt that's not bronze. Uh, what would be just a regular crypt to me? More of this red plant. I really do like that. And... Swastertang. <laughs> I knew it. Just... Alright, so the water flow never changed. It must have been just because the intake's so low in the water. Which is kind of what I thought too, but it's good to get that filter pad on there replaced. Got some water coming up to temp, so I'll start filling it back up. Uh, one thing is with the beneficial bacteria that I lost off the old pad, there still is the filter that was in the hang on the back so there should be lots of beneficial bacteria still in there 
so I don't think it'll make that much difference. 